Hello folks, uh, I'm back, and oh, make fragrance review. Um, got a lot of good response from you guys um, on Facebook. Uh, these videos are also going to be on YouTube, but um, Facebook's, I guess, where I interact with people the most. So, thanks for the positive words there and the encouragement. So, um, decided to give you guys another fragrance review um, <laughs> because I want to give you a meditative tool friends that's really what this is about you know I uh, I wear a fragrance uh, every day um, because I've started collecting little samples of them little baby ones they're real cheap and whatever and I can smell like a $300 fragrance for a couple days, you know what I mean? For a buck or whatever, you know? That's awesome. Um, and then I've started buying little cheap versions of them too. So I'm not like a rich person, but I do want to uh, experience this art form. So I have started wearing a, a different fragrance every day. Um, you don't have to do that, but I think it's advisable because for me, you and it must be something like this for you guys. I, I work from home. I'm an artist, uh, and I, you know, everything I make, I, pff, I pretty much make here. So, you know, waking up in the same place and, and working at the house and then going to bed or whatever, that's a lot of my days. And uh, they can start feeling pretty repetitive after a while. And that fucks up my work because then, you know, if it's too hard for me to feel good about doing it, get into that flow state of excitement and whatnot, uh, I'm going to fuck up. It's just not, it's not going to be as easy to do the work. And I like it when it's easy, man. So, I wear a different fragrance every day, and that brings me into my present moment, which um, I've been meditating a lot in the last uh, year or so. And... Um, being in my present moment, experiencing my real moment-to-moment -moment experience is really addictive. I really, that's how I want to live. Um, and changing my fragrance every day really helps because it, it really does make uh, Wednesday and Thursday feel like different days. You know what I mean? On a subtle level of, there's this aura of beauty that wafts into my perception every once in a while through the day. Um, that's a pretty good tool. And uh, so I, I recommend it. I, I didn't mean to go on a weird three-minute tangent about it, but God damn it! you know what it is, man? That I think that's just going to kind of be standard on these videos. I can't help myself. I'm an expresser. So <laughs> if you like hearing me ramble, on and on about stuff like this, and I hope you do because it seems to be one of my top skills, <laughs> uh, you should check out my podcast, Ando's Thinky Time Podcast. Uh, it's I interview people or uh, talk about an interesting topic, and it's mostly me going in depth about things that I've thought about. And boy, I'm no, you know, special, you know, luminary uh, of society or anything like that. You know, I was just some guy. But um, if you dig these videos, you fucking love that podcast. Uh, it's on iTunes. Uh, they're, they're up on YouTube. All that kind of stuff. I hope you'll check them out. Ando's Thinky Time Podcast. They're our sponsor for today. That podcast is uh, this video sponsor. Today, I want to talk about a, um, a fragrance that is seductive. That's the, it's in the title, seductive. And uh, I know you may be thinking, oh, your last video was about that Carolina Herrera fragrance at 212, Sexy Men. Choosing another sexually themed uh, fragrance to review? Yes. Yes, I am. Because I think people like to smell good. Also because other motherfuckers like to smell them. And if you smell good, that's a real good chance that that motherfucker will want to smell you. So, 
It's just, uh, just a thought. Uh, today, I'll be reviewing Guess Seductive. Oh. Hi. Hi there. Uh, Guess Seductive. I hate this um, company's name. They make jeans, they, whatever, handbags and fragrances. Uh, they're just a design house called Guess. I hate that name because, like, if I'm wearing this fragrance and somebody asks me, oh, who made that fragrance? You know, it's not like a quick answer like they want. They want me to say, oh, you know, Paco Rabanne. They go, interesting, see you later. But with this fucking company, I have to, they say, you know, who made that fragrance? And I say, yes. And they go, fucking Paco Rabanne. And I go, no, guess, the company, guess. I can't guess. You know what I'm fucking saying? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a who's on first fucking name. That's what it is. It's a who's on first name. Who's on first? Oh, fucking, no, oh, that, that, that. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. Bullshit name. <clears throat> I got really excited about that. I really got uh, aggressive. Smells good. God damn it. It does smell good. Um, is it the sexiest smell? No. Is it the best thing I own? No. Why do I own it? Because I found it for like 15 bucks. You know? I grabbed it. Because uh, I smelled it before and I liked it. It's, um, I would wear this if I worked in an office and if it were kind of winter, fall kind of time or cool spring kind of time even, um, I'd be wearing this stuff at the office every once in a while. Uh, because it's not like a come fuck me smell, you know, it's a little bit more subversive than that. You know, it's a little bit more like, uh, that's a pleasing smell. I think I do want to be around you, but I don't feel like you're trying to fuck me with this smell. You know what I mean? It's not super powerful. It's kind of uh, six to eight hours, you know. By that ninth hour, I think it'll be mostly kind of a skin scent. You have to really put your shit on, on your nose to smell it. <clears throat> so that's pretty good for the office. It's not super strong. One or two squirts will definitely do it. Um, it's got uh, kind of a woodsy, ambery, peppery, like a like a ground pepper kind of smell, like a black pepper almost. I think they call it pink pepper in the list. I don't know what the fuck that is. So uh, it probably is pink pepper. I don't fucking know. They say it's got a little citrus in there. It's kind of a warm, spicy smell. It's good for cold, cold weather. Uh, I don't think I'd even really wear it on a date. I don't know. I don't think that this smell's going to get anybody laid. I think it's just going to kind of draw people in a little bit in a really unintimidating kind of way. That's what I think. Um, the notes from the company are uh, pink pepper, musk, uh, orchid, and and kind of a man mandarin orange kind of deal. Patchouli and violet leaf. I think that's mostly what they list, but. You know, it's got woods and that kind of thing. We, I, I'd call it a woodsy. Warm and woodsy. <laughs> kind of smell. Uh, don't spend more than say 20, 25 bucks on it. If, even if you, if you really like it, you can get it for fucking 20 bucks out on the internet somewhere. Um, I recommend it. If I were going to rank it, the thing is, I don't really know, uh, what a woman thinks of this. That's, that's the problem in this, in this, uh, review is I, I don't, I need a woman around. I, I ought to have a guest on sometime and have her sniff some. Maybe that would help, but I'm giving this, um, out of five ranking units, I'm giving it maybe like a three and a half rankings. Let's call them apple pies. We'll give them fucking three and a half apple pies. Or balloons. Three and a half balloons. I like that because uh, I don't know what the fuck a half balloon looks like. Uh, so, I don't know. Here it is.
if you dig it, uh, if it sounded like your kind of deal, if you're like a man's man and shit, this is kind of, you know, pretty standard man shit. If you just can't bear to wear something too beautiful, uh, you know, ah, this is your shit, you know? No woman is going to smell this and go, oh, oh, this smell. Oh, I love this. Oh, let's be so close. I don't really think so, man. But I don't know either, because I have one of these penises, and like it just keeps me from knowing some shit. Uh, thanks for watching my review of this weird fragrance. Uh, pick it up if it interests you. Uh, let me know if you do, and uh, let me know what you think. Or if you've already got it, golly, let me know, man. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.